Hola, hola. My name is Ramon, cosmetic formulator, esthetician, skincare buyer. And today we're gonna to be talking about, once again, new skincare launches, new brand launches. There's a few of those we're gonna talk about today and discussing between you and I, whether or not I would buy them, what my thoughts are on them, if I think they are worth it. That in itself is a very subjective term. It's been a minute since I've done one of these. I have been traveling, hip hopping around the world. If you haven't, followed me on Instagram and whatnot. Go follow me. But obviously I'm basically looking back at the last few months. Some of these things I'm gonna be talking about have potentially launched already or have been announced for a while now. And some of these are more recent. So that's why you're gonna be hearing some of them being like, where have you been? If you haven't watched my Should I Buy series, I'm gonna have the card up here for that playlist, but let's get into it. First things first, we're gonna be talking about brand launches. And there's been quite a handful of these that have been announced recently. And even within this one category, there's a few subcategories because you have some celebrity brand launches, which a lot of people are very tired of seeing. I'm indifferent, I don't care. And then some content creator brand launches. Getting into it, first things first, R.E.M. Beauty from Miss Ariana Grande, Miss Arianki. This is one I'm actually very hyped to see. I don't know a lot about this as of right now. I don't think products have been announced yet. But the thing is, when I look at these brand launches, I think of what is the celebrities association with that specific thing? So with Ariana, we're looking at primarily makeup. I believe some people have looked into like the copyright and trademarks of some of the products. It looks like it's primarily makeup. And then I think she also made the REM copyright for things like candles and body stuff, whatever. That's very on brand for Ariana. First things first, I think of the makeup. Her makeup is literally really iconic. I will like zoom in on pictures of her face just to see how the artist did her face, her contour, her eyeliner. It's very much a part of her brand, like lip gloss, lipstick, very much her. So this is very on brand for Ariana. I think this could be done well. The thing is, there have been people that have like snooped into the whole thing and it looks like it's under the same umbrella company of the people that do like Bad Habit Skin for Emma Chamberlain and like all the Morphe stuff. So there's a question as to if the quality will be up to par. So don't know yet. Would I try it out? 100% yes. Next thing we have on the list is from Nikki Tutorial. Royals, Miss Nikki. I mean, I follow her YouTube channel for a very long time. Obviously very talented artist. I love that she's launching a brand. It's called Nimya. Don't know what that means. Actually, I actually haven't looked into like any of the promo or marketing or any of her content around this. I've just like seen the products and what she's teased on her YouTube channel. And what's interesting is that this is primarily skincare as of right now, which is interesting. I don't affiliate skincare with Nikki. With Nikki, I associate high coverage, high octane makeup, glow, like highlight, not like skin glow. She's someone I think, you know, focuses on the whole like your makeup is only as good as what's underneath it. So like, this is an interesting brand. I know James did a video on this. I haven't watched it. Sorry, James. Am I interested in this? Maybe. Realistically though, until I see like makeup drops, I'm not gonna be like, oh, this is revolutionary. Cause realistically, I think it's a very simple skincare launch from what I see. The only thing I think I wanna try is the mists. Although the little fan she launched is actually very on brand for her. That's a very Nikki thing. That's really cute. Love that branding. Next one, had a lot of people upset. If you don't follow like the skincare Twitter circle, you really need to. It's like everything but people were up in arms about this one and this is Ellen DeGeneres' skincare brand launch. Skin I think it's skincare. It's called Kind Science. First of all, I don't think of Ellen as a skincare person. The only cosmetic affiliation I make with Ellen is CoverGirl because she was a CoverGirl for a very long time. I think up to really recently. So I think makeup more when I think Ellen but even then I don't really associate her. She's not like a makeup girl nor is she a skincare girl. I think she's aged very well and I don't think she's necessarily gotten like a lot of work done but then I don't like I don't associate her like with taking care of your skin either. So this is a weird one to see especially especially because a lot of people were very upset about the specific claims around science and being very like science forward, but I think it was very like clean fear mongering science. So people were like literally two plus two is not adding up in this situation. I will be interested to see what the brand launches. I don't see myself trying it out just because I don't know what to expect. But if I were to get my hands on the product, I would try them out and do a review, but I'm not actively gonna seek it out. Next one. I don't know if this is real. So I was on trend mood. I shared it on my Instagram. I was just like, you know what? Just because I love this person, I totally wanna see this and would try it out. And that's Mariah Carey. As of right now, all I'm seeing on trend mood is just Mariah Carey beauty. No details, no nothing else about that. Mariah to me is a style icon. Mariah was everything. Growing up, my mom was obsessed with Mariah. You know how I'm obsessed with Rihanna? That was my mom with Mariah. Had all the albums, listened to all of her stuff. Never watched Glitter because you know I still trying to I want to see her in a positive light. This is one I'm like, okay, let me see what happens with this. I think of Mariah as like self-care, opulence, luxe. I could see this going very left or very right. Very left would be in the same vein as like JLo Beauty. Very right would be like in the same vein as Venti. So I think I'm hoping this is a little bit more makeup focused. I see her more as a makeup girl, especially like in her 97 like honey era. Like mm. Everything about that was everything. Don't know, interested. And then the last celebrity skincare launch she's talking about is Kylie Baby. This was one that I feel like people were like, 
why? To me, this kind of makes a lot of sense and I can't exactly articulate why. We have Kylie's skin. That was just a very like, who was she directing that to? What was the purpose behind it? It's a very simple, straightforward line. I've never tried it. I want to try the lip oil though. But to me, I'm like indifferent towards it. It's not a horrible launch. It's just very like mm. Kylie's makeup. So much sense. Very on brand for her. Love to see it. And I've heard great things. I haven't tried any of it personally, but like I've heard great things. You've had all of her other stuff. So I know she just launched a swimmer line. That launch went horribly. Everyone's dragging that left, right, center. And now we have Kylie Baby. Kylie has babies, rise and shine. To me, I'm like, this is cute. It's very in line with like really cutesy. Like when I think of her demographic that like late teens, early twenties, those girls got kids and they like want to pamper their kids the same way they pamper themselves. So to me, this is very cute. I'm not mad at this actually. I low key love baby products because baby products smell really good. And I really want a baby of my own. I want to be a mom. So I will buy this and pretend I have a baby to use it on. Getting onto the influencer brand launches. This one is actually a little bit older. This one is Coastal Citizen. I actually got an email about this and the email was just like very vague about it being like, oh, a celebrity uh, Instagram influencer is launching a skincare brand. And I'm thinking like, who is launching a skincare brand that doesn't have one already? Who's already a skin influencer? I didn't know who this person was. I'm going to be very blunt, but the brand is Coastal Citizen. The owner of it is Eva Gutowski never watched her content, never seen her before. I'm just looking at her Instagram right now and like one of the things in her bio just says, leak your own sex tape out now. I don't know anything about her. So I just got this email after I like confirmed like, yeah, I'd like to try the product out. I just had an NDA for it. To be honest, not knowing who this girl is looking at this launch, it's very in the middle for me. They have a like cleansing water, which I've actually tried and it's not a bad product. I'm gonna be very blunt with you. Like it's a really decent like gentle like micellar water type of situation. What I love though is she like launches little like black cotton rounds or like terry cloth or something like pads. I love those for the sole reason that they're black. You see brands launch cotton pads that are reusable and they're white and those stain. Black ones don't stain. So like you could use the cleansing water on the like black cotton pad to take off your makeup as like a pre-cleanse. That black thing's not getting stained. You just wash it, you're good. Brilliant. Why have no brands done this yet? Love that fact. But yeah, I have tried the product. This was a very interesting launch, but considering I'm in the skincare game. She's not, have no idea who she is. She made this launch. No one in skincare game was talking about it or her. So I don't know if like the marketing wasn't like there or what. I don't know if a lot of people like outside of the skincare game are really into it. But if you're interested in buying it, I actually did not hate it, so. And then next, and literally as I'm filming this right now, it's October 21st, there's a lot of talks about this because I think it just happened today. There is a brand by someone named Valkyrie. I've never heard of her before this, but she just launched a brand called Reflect. And the big thing about this, and actually Lab Muffin just posted a thing about this on TikTok, is the fact that the brand's only product launch as of right now that she's talked about or announced is essentially a blue light like skin protector. I don't know if this is a serum or what, but they're really just playing up like, oh, the blue light you get from your phone screen and like the damage it does to your skin. You got a facial gel cleanser. You have a daily defense moisturizer. Mind you, it says that there's no like SPF rating on it. You got like those little eye patches coming for Charlotte Parler's gig, lip balm. That's it. So there's no sunscreen in this either. But it's just a lot of people are just like, why are we going back to this fear mongering around a really irrelevant blue light from your phones is nothing. Like really worry about blue light from the sun. But realistically, a lot of antioxidants can help protect from that. And there's no sunscreen in this launch. So depending on the price point, I'm not really willing to try this out and it's just nothing catching my attention. And a lot of people are talking about this right now and I haven't seen reviews or anything yet because I don't think it's launched, but it's not doing anything for me. Next one, we're talking about Cielo skincare from Edward Avila. I've been in, like I've watched YouTube religiously for several many years now. And Edward actually was one of the ones I used to watch back in the day. He's the one that got me into like a lot of Korean brands and Korean influencers. Honestly, I don't know why it took him so long to launch a skincare brand. I think he was focused on skincare for a long time, switched up to makeup. Then he did his weird like music thing for a minute. And then I like stopped keeping track of him. And now we have a skincare launch, but I'm very interested in this. I think if there's something that boy does well, it's really market himself and like get himself a platform. I'm actually really interested to see what he does with this. I've only seen James Walsh post about this so far. And in terms of launch, all I see is like a serum, cream dream skin fluid, but I don't see a lot of details about this product necessarily, but Edward is Korean based. Edward has a lot of connections in Korea. I love Korean skincare. I'm actually excited to see what this looks like, what this turns out to be, what it's all about, what he does with the brand, just because I'm interested, period. I love seeing creators that I know launch brands and what they essentially take from their own philosophy and their platform and put into their brand. Again, I did watch him for a very long time religiously. He got me really into Korean skincare. So I feel like full circle want to be a part of that. And that's it for celebrity and content creator brand. Mind you, this is actually part one 
of what I buy just because there was actually a lot of things I had to talk about in this video and it's gonna be a very long video. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when part two comes out because we are continuing to spill the tea in that one as well. But until then, tell me down below in the comments what your thoughts are on some of these products I talked about in this video. A lot of interesting celebrity brand launches coming out. What what celebrity, tell me what celebrity are you still awaiting a skincare or makeup launch from? Let me know down below in the comments. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and for now, thank you for watching. Bye.